Hello! Welcome to part two of our series on missional living and CSER. In the first video, we explained that missional living refers to common people living a common life, leveraging their gifts and influence with great intentionality while favoring the gospel. We also explained that missional living requires intentionality, meaning that we need to be intentional with the use of our time, talents, and resources. In part two, we will discuss some practical steps to help you live on mission while doing CSER. So what are some practical steps? First, we have to build relationships with people. People won't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Relationships can be the bridge to sharing the gospel. And you can build relationships anywhere, at work, at home, in the neighborhood, on sports teams, at the park, or any other setting or group of people in which you find yourself. Get to know people, have them over for dinner, get coffee, ask them questions about their lives, and spend time with them. You see, all of us have three things, networks, resources, and actions. Our networks are the people in our lives, family, friends, coworkers, neighbors, and others. We all have them, and we can use them to identify areas of evangelism. Our resources are the things we have. These could be time, money, skills, education, experiences, and knowledge. These are things that we can use to our advantage and our actions are the things we can do. These are tangible ways to build relationships with people. Share a meal, go to a work outing or a cultural event with coworkers, or just have fun. Your networks, resources, and actions will determine how well you can build relationships with others. Second, share your faith. Disciple making is impossible without sharing the gospel. Don't be afraid to share your faith with others. But you might be thinking, I've never shared my faith with anyone, or I'm not that good at it, or I don't know where to begin with people. These are all normal feelings, especially for young people. There's actually a simple and authentic way to share your faith. As you get to know someone, simply ask them to share their life story with you. And as they share, listen closely, ask good questions, empathize with their experiences, try to understand this person as an image bearer that God loves just like you and then ask if you can share your story. As you share, explain how you came to know Christ and why this is so important to your story. Then, and this is the important part, you share God's story. That is the gospel, the story of sin, grace, forgiveness, redemption, and salvation. By linking their story and your story with God's story, you can explain how God loves all of us, including them, and He desires a relationship with us. So remember their story, your story, and God's story. Now, let's consider a third and final practical step that can help. Service. Serving people can open the door for evangelism, and this is where CSER is so useful. Your community service requirement is an opportunity to go out into the community and engage people you don't know. It's a way to build relationships with people you've never met, and it's a way to serve them as Jesus would have served them. When people see you consistently serving day after day, it establishes a good testimony. It builds rapport with those people. It softens their hearts to the gospel. It might even make them a little curious. And that curiosity can create an opening to share your faith. So don't just look at CSER as a graduation requirement. See it as a way to live on mission and make disciples. As you go out into the community, we hope you'll put missional living into practice. Just remember the three steps of building relationships, sharing your faith, and serving like Jesus.